Well, it's based on a, an event that happened in a fast food restaurant in Kentucky uh, in uh, 2003 or 2004, where a prank caller, who I play, called claiming to be a police officer and asked the manager to detain an employee for an alleged theft. And what ensued over the next four and a half hours while he kept them on the phone and asked any number of people that were working there to do unspeakable things. But this plays to, perhaps it is endemic in all of us, we want to believe the worst in people rather than immediately believe the best. Yeah, I mean, you know, we all would like to believe the best in ourselves, but we will like to seem to believe the worst in others first. Perhaps that's a defense mechanism or something of survival that we have built in, you know. I think that, um, I don't believe that people are inherently bad, but I think that there are certain things that are built into our culture, and it's not just endemic to, uh, specific to America. I mean, obviously, it happened in Germany, and it's happened in Cambodia and all over the world, you know. Um, and, and, and those are certainly really big examples of this, which is a microcosm of that idea. It happens, it happens here on a, on, a, on a daily basis. Most people hear the story and they go, what? No, that's not true. And in fact, that's what Craig Zobel, the director, the writer-director, thought too. And what initially led him to be fascinated in the story and to try and figure out, which is the movie is an examination. I mean, it's not a uh, docudrama, it's fictionalized, but it's, it's an examination of why. And I'm not sure we provide all the answers, but we try, you know. Sometimes it's just a perfect storm of events, you know. A uh, perfect storm of personalities and, and, and um, consequences. And, and, and sometimes it's, I know I've had plenty of people come up to me or after the screenings or in Q&A say, you know, we all have had moments where we've done something that's maybe not as extreme as that, hopefully, but we've done something and we don't know why we did that. And we feel badly about it. Um, we've all done it, and we can all ask ourselves, you know, to be more aware and more alert. I hope the movie does that, at least. When does a prank become more upsetting and something that is really dangerous? This specific prank or a prank in general? Uh, this one. I mean, this one, I think, is... I mean, it's certainly illegal from the start, and it's certainly... It's certainly never funny. It very quickly turns dark. And over the course of several hours, it becomes downright disgusting and, and uh, uh, it's an outrage. And, um, and it's a person who is not even getting any satisfaction out of it. He wasn't there. He wasn't watching. He did it 70, there are 70 plus reported cases of him, well, the person who was caught was acquitted, so we don't know. But strangely, uh, the crimes all stopped after he was arrested, but uh, he was acquitted. Um, 70 times, which means that that's 70 reported cases. There's surely unreported cases, and there's surely failures where it didn't work. So he was honing it. And I don't think he was a genius. I think he caught, uh, like I said, a perfect storm, the, the right personalities on the right night and he had been doing it long enough and knew the right things to say and I think it was awful from the start but I think most pranks and practical jokes are horrible it's like the punchline of most practical jokes seems to be get it I'm a jerk you know it's like when is it ever fun you know it's always somebody being humiliated or hurt and we've all laughed at them and, and things like that but you know I don't really enjoy the, 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 the fun ones, quote unquote, you know? It was torture, it was humiliation. But what's interesting with things like candid camera and prank phone calls that we hear, which I enjoy, um, people have to sign a release to, um, for us to see and hear those things, which means that people are all right with showing that they're being humiliated, which says one of two things to me. I think uh, it says, you know, I'm, I'm okay with this, I have a good sense of humor. But more it seems to be these days in the age of reality television, I don't really care, I just want to be seen on television, you know? I mean, that doesn't feed so much into what we're doing with this film, but it, 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 um, it certainly speaks to the culture at large, you know, uh, uh, something's gone, gone wrong.